In 2011, I began traveling to all of South Carolina state parks. There's 47 in total, and it roughly took me a year and a half. I get asked quite a bit why I chose to do that, and to be honest, I can't really give a definitive answer. It, you know, a lot of at the time, a lot of friends were you know off getting married. They were settling down. They were having children, and here I was. I was working multiple jobs, and I was just trying to figure out what the next move was for me. I get asked quite a bit what my favorite state park is and why, and this is such a difficult question to answer because it's not really the state park itself. It's more or less the adventure and the memory of it that I take away and that I remember most of all. You know, climbing up the lighthouse, you know, I believe it's 167 steps to the top, or, you know, exploring the Adelaide Castle with friends, and climbing up waterfalls, meditating in waterfalls. And it's always interesting whenever I bring friends along with me, and they have cameras, and they capture something that I might not, you know, have noticed before. And I just, I find that overwhelmingly awesome. Traveling to all of the state parks, it really took me out of my comfort zone. Before, when I actually first started, I, you know, I, I wanted to go with friends. I wanted to travel with them. I wanted to, to, well, I mean, I, I was afraid to go by myself, to be honest. And then, by the time that I was finished with them, I was going on a lot of these state park runs by myself. I didn't need anyone to go with me. I didn't need anyone to go explore with me. It was very liberating. It took me out of my comfort zone and it showed me that there was a world that that was more than what I was living in. It really made me appreciate Mother Earth and it made me appreciate nature. I created Operation Adventure in 2011 and I did this because I wanted to start a dialogue and create a conversation with people about traveling and finding yourself because that was what I was doing at the time. I, one comment that really, really stuck out or, and still sticks out to me till this very day, someone commented, you know, I don't get to travel much. I have children and it's hard for me to get out. But looking at all these photographs and watching your videos, it it's like I'm on a mini vacation of my own. And I, at that point, I knew that I was doing something right because I wanted to reach out. I wanted to touch people. I wanted to entertain them. I wanted to educate them. I wanted them to see what South Carolina had to offer and I was doing that I was doing that on even though it was on a small scale it was it was still doing everything that I had ever imagined it could do but I really do believe that when you travel it does open your mind and it, it, it makes you not as closed off as most people are if I can leave people with any tidbit of knowledge it is to be authentic if you don't feel like something is right, or if you don't feel like something is natural, then nine times out of ten, it isn't. And what I've noticed is there's this kind of repetitive cycle that people tend to get into, and it's, you know, from high school you go on to college, from college you get married, and sometimes if you're even, if you're lucky, you marry your high school sweetheart or your college sweetheart, and you get a job, and then from there you have children, and... and you get in this cycle of like, all right, well, I have to go to work. I have to provide for my family. And yes, there's nothing wrong with the white picket fence scenario. However, for some people, that is just not an option. Some people don't even have that card on the table. And that's okay. You need to be more aware of who you are, putting that into the universe. If something doesn't feel authentic to your soul, then don't engage in it. Do what's right for you.